What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to cover the oil analysis results that I received back from Blackstone Labs for my 2018 Mustang GT. But before we get into the video, I'd appreciate it if you all would go and hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell that way you'll be kept up to date with any videos that I upload to the channel so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video and we'll go over the results so I'm gonna read the paragraph that they sent me back regarding the oil analysis and uh, we'll go ahead and kind of briefly go over that at the end from what I can understand at least because I don't fully understand the uh, chart but uh, they give me an explanation and I'm gonna read that to you guys right now so the oil sample that I sent in had 2,700 miles on the sample and here are the results and I'm going to read to you the, the findings of the on the comment section here. So it says, both piston slap and excess rod bearing wear would show up in this engine as high aluminum but it is okay at 5 parts per million. They are not concerned about rod bearing, premature poor rod bearing wear uh, or piston uh, issues of excessive piston slap as it would have shown up as a high aluminum so that's good so far the averages we're using for this comparison are based on oil runs of 5800 miles so we could call it high for just 2700 miles but if anything we chalk that up to break in material that has yet to wash out so they, they did notice that it's a little high but still not enough to write me back saying that there's concern for a warranty issue or something is uh, catastrophically wrong with the engine. Find any any signs of, of premature or poor wear at this point it could be just chalked up again to the braking material because it is a young engine with only you know 4700 miles on it at the time. So moving forward the same logic can be applied to iron and copper they should improve in the coming sample. So they want me to follow up and they did send me two more bottles and I do plan on following up on that. So I do plan on sending two more samples in as they have already sent me the bottles for it so we can keep a log of what is going on with the engine. Um, so the first one is done obviously, the next oil change will also be sent into them and I will keep it Motorcraft uh, 5W20 synthetic blend for the purposes of this test to keep it consistent and the variables will be more controllable that way. So 5W20 is what I'm gonna keep running in it. That's what's recommended from the factory. I know they say 5W30 for heavy track use or stuff like that, but this car is not uh, being tracked. If anything, it'll go to the strip every so often and I think the 520 should be fine. Uh, All right, now regarding the rest of the test is I'm happy to report that they did not find any traces of water, uh, so there's no indication that there's a head gasket problem, but you know, it's a brand new engine, so that's to be expected, but it's still good to hear that there is no water in the sample. And also uh, very, very, very small traces of fuel found in there. Uh, I don't know the particulars on that, but I would suspect that there was nothing to report on that end of it, that there was nothing to be concerned about as far as uh, the pistons letting any kind of or excessive amount of fuel by and mixing with the oil so those are very good uh, things to report back also the engine at this point it still does have the tick the typewriter tick it does uh, it feels very good it, it runs very well I haven't had any issues with it other than the noise so overall I'm very satisfied with the results at this point again they did not alert me to anything that I should be overly concerned about the tick is still present uh, I don't it doesn't bother me all that much other than it just being there and I know it's there but I'm still enjoying the car we're gonna send the next oil sample back to them what we want to see is less of everything on that chart when it comes to any kind of debris found in there so that will be a telling report when the analysis comes back from the next oil change and the goal is to have less of everything on it so that should be the trend if you guys have a 2018 and up mustang gt and you're having the issue of the the typewriter tick or the 2k rpm rattle i highly suggest that you 
get with Blackstone Labs. It's free, which comes in a bottle, everything you need to package up your sample, the instructions. When they receive your sample, that's when they will charge you for the, uh, the analysis. Uh, if you liked what you saw here and, and if you learned anything from the video, please go ahead and comment down in the section below. Also hit the notification bell, that way you won't miss out on any videos coming out in the future. Subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.